Hello, my name is Aang and in this video I will show my solution on how to set up, uh, connect and disconnect from the server. This is the result of the solution. So, in from one side, uh, the server is started in a specific port type in here and when the server is started successfully there will be message like server started at port and the port is the typing error and in other side like a client side we connect to the server and we say successfully connected to server and when we disconnect then it says successfully disconnected from the server and in in the server side it has a message that a player has disconnected. So let's have a look at the code. So when the code is started I want to show you the reference the network page in Unity uh, scripting page that we will use most of the functions and how to pass the message uh, inside here I mean from here So, when the game is on, there will be a network dialog showed. So, when we click the start button, the game is on, and there is a network dialog shown. Or else, if the game is not on yet, so showing the start button, and turn on the boolean values. So, what happen inside the network dialog it is the network control inside the network control so there is a text field so that the user can input the port number and there is a button to start the server at that specific port so this is the text field and in this case it is 1025 and if the start server is clicked, then the port number, this port number will be passed as a parameter. Uh, there is another button for the client side to connect to that specific, to the specific port they entered, and another button for disconnecting from both sides. So how do we launch the server with the input of the port number? So we will see the network initialize server function and just use all of this one and three parameters to be passed is to the number of connections the port listen port in this case is the value input by the users and to use not or not and the use not set the not punctual punctual functional Fun functionality functionality uh, to be on and it is inside the launch server function so we use not and the string of the port input is passed into the integer values to be suitable for the function and the initialized is set up with the network initialize server function like we see here but what happened what if there is problems in connection process we can catch error for 
for example, there is no connection by network connection error class with no error. If um, if there is error, so it will display the could not start server and display the the content of the error as well. And if there is no error, then just going on. Um, I will show you one case. For example, in this machine, I cannot start to server in one machine. So if I try to start it, let's see what happens. So, I start server from one side, and it is successfully started, but in other side, if I still want to start the server in the same port, then it say could not start the server, and the error message. And if the port type in, um, if there are problems with the input value, for example, the part that is typed in is, is not available at that time, so also it will show another message that invalid port number. Um, when there is no error, the server will be instantiated. If it is successfully launched, there will be a message displayed, so the function called on the server whenever the function network initialize server was invoked and complete. That is the on server initialized. So on server initialized, we show a message. And to the client side, if the client hit connect, then we need the network connect button function. So on the wire line. And if it clicks connect, then the, we will use the network connect. And um, this function will connect them to the specific port with the IP and the remote port address. In this case, the 127.0.0.1 is the address of the local machine. and the password also if necessary, but in this case we don't need any password. Um, next, if the connection is successfully made, there will be message displayed, and we display the message um, inside the on connected to server. So on connected to server, and we display message uh, successfully connected to server. And, but what if there is problem, for example, there is no con network connection in your machine, or, so it will tell you inside the function on field to connect. So the reason is passed in as a network connection error, and so on field to connect. And the information about the error is passed inside. So we've done with the connection part, how about the disconnection? Uh, if we click disconnect, then the function network disconnect is called. So that all the open connects is closed and network interface is shut down. Then if you are a client and you don't want to play anymore and quit the game, and other players' game are still going on, but if the disconnection comes from the server, then all the clients' connections are also be shut down. That's why we have specific message to be delivered if the disconnection comes from the server. It is like on disconnected from server. So we can receive the information on whatever or whatever message is uh, coming if the server is down for some reasons, and it will tell the. Uh, 
client if there is lost connection from server as well. So uh, that is the main part. And let me summarize the key points again. We initialize the server with function network uh, network initialize server. And if the server is initialized successfully, we can pass a uh, display a message by using on server initialized on server initialized. And for a client, we can use network connect to connect to server and disconnect to disconnect. Also, the server uses disconnect to function function, but the message to client can be written inside on disconnected from server and error's message can be passed if there is connection problem with on failed to connect and with class network connection error to find out what the error is. And let me show you one more time. Built version, and uh, just there is just one con uh, one thing that needs to be focused. I mean, to be noticed that when the build setting, we build the settings. Uh, just make sure that the running background is ticked so that it can receive the connection from both sides. So we can see the console here also. If we start the server from here, so it will display some message in the debug log but also on the screen and when we connect, so also the server receive information about the that, that there is one new connection established and it will start sending the signal to that uh, remote machine also and so when we disconnect there is a message that a client has disconnected from the server so that's all for this video thank you and see you next week